average size deer of this stature is going to have eight pints of blood in it. Just think about eight of these approximately, eight 16 ounce bottles of water. That's a lot of blood. How much blood does that deer need to lose to die quickly? Well, we know through scientific research, it takes about 35% blood loss for a deer to fall dead within 100 yards of where you shot it, 35%. About three of these. So think about that for a second. You're out there blood trailing and you see a drop here, a drop there, a little smear there. How many of those little drops and smears does it take to fill just one of these? Well, let's just take a look at it. I mean, there's a, that's a big drop right there. There's a big drop, big drop. I mean, you, you'd be walking through the woods, especially on snow, and you're like, oh my gosh, this deer's bleeding like crazy. I haven't even crested where the cap was on this. It needs to lose three bottles worth of blood. So that gives you an idea of what you really need to do, the kind of damage you need to inflict on a deer. Now, like I said, if you put that arrow through the middle of the deer, you're gonna kill the deer. You're just not gonna find it as quickly. Deer is dead. You're just not gonna find it as quickly. So what's the key? The key to bow hunting is causing massive hemorrhaging. How do you cause massive hemorrhaging? Razor sharp broadheads and ideal shot placement. That's what's gonna put your deer down quickly and humanely. Get us your questions. We're gonna to try to answer them on air for you. And as always, you can watch all the Deer Talk Now episodes right there on our YouTube page or at deerandeerhunting.com.